Hi, I'm hoping to be an end time survivor and I'm doing my best to listen and learn so that I can live. I'm really keen in learning more about the end times but some of what I'm seeing and hearing on YouTube can be kind of depressing. I'm talking mainly about some of the hundreds of videos that are out there on the subject. I like the ones with practical survival tips because on the whole they teach skills that are useful in any kind of disaster or emergency situation. And I think they're good skills to know. They're worth learning. It's mostly the thousands of videos that talk about the Antichrist, Mark of the Beast and other Bible prophecy type stuff. In their desperation to get people to watch a video, a lot of people end up putting up totally false and misleading titles on their videos. The latest one being that Jesus is going to return the 30th of August 2016. So far, I've not been able to find any explanation for the setting of that particular date. Seems like someone apparently just picked a date and put it on their video to attract a lot of hits. And of course it did. People end up doing that because they want their video to be popular more than they actually want to communicate anything truthful or significant. But really what it does is make any Christian who is seriously interested in what the Bible actually says about these things also look hysterical and irrational. I seriously think that Jesus is going to return and I'm convinced that the microchip implant is at least a forerunner to the mark of the beast, if not the real thing. There are also a few other things that I'm looking for, like plans to rebuild the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. But this idea of taking every little bit of new technology, every disaster, terrorist attack, political election or military skirmish and turning it into some supposedly earth-shaking evidence that Jesus is going to come tomorrow or August 30, well, it just becomes embarrassing and I don't really want to be associated with that kind of thing. I think we work against ourselves when we get carried away with that kind of thing. However, having said that, I realise that me making a video right now does kind of put me in that kind of mould. But here's what I want to say personally. I'm genuinely interested and hoping to meet others who are looking for Jesus to return and who can see some of these more major signs that the mark, the Antichrist and the Tribulation are not far off. I definitely don't want to jump on a bandwagon about some supposed expert of the Bible who's supposed to work it all out for us. I think Jesus has the answers and that he's wanting his true followers to at least be moving gradually closer together as a form of encouragement to one another. It's following the Lamb, kind of like what Brother Dave is saying on the Survivor's videos. Keep following the Lamb. It may not be time yet for us to link up in any formal way, but just knowing that there are others, like some of the people who've also contributed videos to this site, well, that's encouraging for me, and I hope it will be for others too. If you feel encouraged or inspired by what you're hearing and seeing, maybe you can contact us and maybe some of the people here can help you put together a video much like I've just done with this one. The email address is endtimesurvivors at gmail.com which you'll also find in the about section on this channel. What you can do first though is subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so and then share your comments in the comment section below. We really look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thank you.